Sam never I'm knows ready. if I'm I've ready. actually... Just... He never knows if I've hit record or not, and if he should start. Just give me so... a countdown. Three... We've already been Hello recording this whole time. To- oh. I was- <laughs> this is classic Josiah. Uh, We're here uh-huh. doing an amazing Sclusi, another fantastic installment of the best series that we've ever had. I was there. Oh, is that is, uh, the theme song? Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, of course, this, this uh, series is inspired by LCD sound system. Um, so uh, thank you, James Murphy, for all that you've done for uh, indie rock and uh, sommeliers. We wine, really appreciate yeah, that. Wine. And we are joined by uh, someone who, uh, you know, I don't know if you are a wine drinker. We cannot talk about what you are drinking until we are behind the paywall. So please uh, note that keep that secret. <laughs> uh, we are joined by Greg Adams. What's up, Greg? How's it going, Greg? Uh, I, I am. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to hear that. In, in, yeah, in, in interview. Yeah, okay. Uh, this feels strange because I'm very rarely interviewed. So this is mm. uh, the interview. You know, it's, it's it's being on the on the other side of the. Uh, What's like? The, do you the have mic. a you know? Because yeah, we've you and I have both been there together in many different ways <laughs> in many different capacities yeah. over the years. Do you have? I've never like sat in on you interviewing a band. Do you have any questions that are like go to questions? for when you're feeling lazy or when things are getting awkward? What's like the one that you do? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know if I have a set question, but like I sit with my my uh, interview audio a lot and I feel like I could put together kind of like a uh, like a, like a super cut of just me saying, I'm I'm not sure where the question is in there. But <laughs> right. and then just like and then just like a pregnant pause like that. That is my go to. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I always thought it'd, that be, it, cool. it'd be nice to make a super cut of people saying, oh, that's such a good question. Oh, wow. What yeah, a great, great question. The television show uh, Hot Ones, Josiah. They've already they've already made a show <laughs> of that. They? It's quite successful. <laughs> I hate that show. That guy's got to be the worst interviewer of all time. <laughs> I like that show, but they leave in every and it, it's one of those things where it's designed to be like, oh, wow, you know. But as people that have done interviews, that's just like a rhetorical device that in particular famous people use to try to disarm you and make you think that they're normal. Right. It's true. Uh, Greg, you know, we've got your credits and stuff will presumably be in the description of this episode. But since we're talking about interviews, you know, do you get this thing sometimes with like family members or like people who aren't really familiar with what you do who say, who's the most famous person you've ever met? Who's the most famous person you've interviewed? And what is your answer to that question? Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Uh, I, I, it, it, it comes up, you know, occasionally. I, I think the, the most famous person I've ever interviewed is Ozzy Osbourne. Very famous That's man. That's a good one. He's That's a, a yeah, really good like one. That, for, 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 yeah, that was um, a couple of years ago now. We, we spoke around uh, his, his album, the, the, the Ordinary Man. Uh, and, it, and it was a my trip. It was, title. it was very strange because it was just like an immediate connection on, on my phone line. Like I just answered the phone and then uh, it was just someone that just said, all right, Ozzy's here. Hello, Greg. <laughs> and it was just like so immediate and, and disarming. But uh, it was it was Ozzy Osbourne. And, and, you know, it's it's he's you know, he's he's one of the icons, you know. So it was it was it was a pleasant, pleasant talk. I, I feel I asked him uh, at least a couple questions. Did you and, s- say uh, things where you couldn't find the question in there too? I I don't doubt it. I don't doubt that that <laughs> happened. Um, that must have been hard yeah. to transcribe, though. Ozzy Osbourne talking on the phone. The man does not enunciate. He was he was great. I thought he was great on it. Um, he 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 did shout for Sharon once, which was uh, uh, just Classic. like a, a, like a bonus a bonus treat. Yeah, no, to I, have yeah, that happen it. in your vicinity must have been exciting and. You know, look, we've all had nightmares, uh, nightmare scenarios, you know, on on the other side, you know, where Josiah and I are right now interviewing you. Um, yeah. Not that this has been a nightmare. What is the most it disastrous? Will, it is for me. Yeah. Well, but. good. OK, good. I'm, I'm just glad to know one of us is struggling. What What is the worst interview you've ever done? <sighs> I, d- I don't know. I know my, I'll say mine is the locust, which I feel like we've talked about previously yeah. on this podcast. They they were so not having my entire well yeah vibe. that's the, the first time that's ever happened to me normally i'm <laughs> normally so disarming it. mine is definitely oh. little b because it was for a cover story for fast forward and i went in on the weekend to interview little b and i think you know i got like two normal questions and then i was like 
So Lil B, tell me, where does the bass god end and Brandon McCartney begin? Like, where do you draw this line? And he was just like, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I gotta go. And he hung up on me. <laughs> so the, the cover story was mostly biographical. There when you said you went in on the weekend, I thought maybe you alienated him by being like, you know, the weekend's not actually very good. <laughs> right. yeah, that was, he was like, I think Abel is quite talented and a good friend. And you, <laughs> yeah. you just put him you have, off. You have Daniel Craig syndrome, confusing the weekend with the weekend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been told that that's one of many things that I have in common with Daniel. So, Greg, so. your your interviews have all been gone swimmingly, is what you're trying to say? Um, I, I would say uh, uh, for, for years, I think possibly the, the the most famous person that I guess a family member w- would recognize um, would be maybe like Sean. I, I interviewed Sean Lennon about 15 years ago, uh, which was which was a great talk in general but at one point he, he was doing an album um called friendly fire and it was a, a bit of a dip like i do i do either of you have you have either of you familiarized yourself with like the early sean lennon albums i, I know the one hit like that he had what was the big commercial kind of like much music sean lennon song it becomes friends of p in my head and i know that yeah. that's not a sean lennon song <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, I guess, you know, like the, the first one he did was like late 90s. It was kind of like this bright but fuzzy kind of like alt pop kind of album. Some mm-hmm. really cool stuff on it. The second one was in more of kind of like an Elliot Smith kind of vein. And and in the interview, I was kind of trying to, you know, get get a, a, a feel from him between those two positions. And, and I kind of it slipped out that I called like the second album like a bummer is like, you know, and the second one is more of a bummer. <laughs> And he was just like, well, I didn't mean to make it a fucking bummer, dude. And like, just like the tone of the conversation. Just oh, like, oh, oh, like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair enough. Oh, but yeah, fuck. yeah. That's probably the easy answer for the worst interview. Yeah. That's pretty good. Pissing off Sean yeah. Lennon, who now uh, tweets a lot about NFTs. Uh, time, time comes for us all. Well, yeah. you know, it's not quite an NFT, but it is a sclu C. That's right, folks. For to hear the rest, you gotta go to patreon.com slash one five five pod. You can get video or audio of this. So we're gonna hop behind the paywall right now.